Yes, Sarah, Brent, last week we heard from educators at the state capitol calling on the General Assembly to pass legislation to increase teacher salaries. Today, they joined the governor to talk reforms for the certification and evaluation process, all part of stemming the current workforce shortage. Teachers are like the foundation of everything. So it's important that we get that they get the resources that they need to be able to support us. Asante wants to be a child psychiatrist in schools. She's currently part of the Educators Rising program, introducing students to careers in education. I've always loved all my teachers. All of them are super nice, and I wanted to make that impact on students as well. These students heard from Governor Lamont and state education leaders Thursday about proposed changes to Connecticut's teacher evaluation and certification systems. We haven't really looked at teacher certification regs since 1998. Advocates say in order to recruit and retain more teachers, the certification process needs to change. I'm not saying that the test should be easy. I think it should be more accessible to prospective teachers. If we want to draw people in, we have to, again, make it attainable. We have to look at the price tag. Why is it $1,500 to get certified? That's ridiculous. The state is also looking at teacher evaluations, approving new guidelines this month, focusing on research, best practices, and continuous improvement. I'm so tired of test, 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 test. If you love to learn, and if you love to continue to learn, and you want to learn for the rest of your life, that's the greatest gift uh, that a teacher can provide for each and every one of you. These proposals a welcome step for students hoping to one day achieve a career in education. Everyone that's in like other careers only got there because of their teachers and like there's such a really big important role to play in our like society. And those new teacher evaluations going into effect for the 2024-2025 school year. As for the other proposals, those are making their way through the legislative session. Governor Lamont and education advocates hopeful they'll pass this year. Sarah.